Hello, 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 hello. How are you? This is Els coming from Beamus Crafty Corner. Today we're going to be making these. They're cute. They're simple. They're really easy peasy and they use up a lot of old scraps. So we are going to be uh, doing this today and I'm going to get out some supplies and let you know what we're going to be looking to use and we will get started. So I will be right back. All right, so this one's pretty easy. Um, a hole punch, some ribbon or twine, whatever you want to use, some scraps of paper, and a scrap of cardstock. Now, I prefer double card, double sided, so let's take a look. We've got some scraps in here. And those have cards on the back. This one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this out of our way. All right, we're also going to need a paper trimmer, ink and a dauber. That's pretty much it. Okay, so the first part we need to do is we need to make our actual, you know, pad base. And I want my pad to be about three and a half inches wide, so I'm just going to cut a piece of this that's three and a half inches, put it to the side. Okay? Now, you do not need to have uh, a scoring tool for this. If you have a scoreboard, use it. If not, uh, you can just use a ruler and uh, like, you know, the end of a pencil. All right, so I'm going to just put a score in here at about one and a half. And that becomes the top of my pad. So I'm just going to fold that. Remember, hills into valleys, valleys into hills. And that's pretty much the base of my pad. So now, I know that this is three and a half inches wide, so I'm going to be looking to use scraps of paper that are about three and a quarter. Less than three and a quarter, okay? And I can cut these to really any size that I want as far as width. but I do want them to be less than three and a quarter. And I'm going to want like, you know, 10 or 15 pieces. This is uh, some textured cardstock. Get a couple of pieces of that. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the cutter out of the way. And um, when I come back, we're going to kind of start putting this all together. Okay? This is an easy peasy one. It's a beginner's project, guys. Alright, so let me get this out of the way. I'll be right back. Alright, so I have a bunch of paper. Uh, scraps that I've cut down to make sure that they're going to be small enough. And then what I'm going to do is, you know, just kind of start stacking them up. Oops. <laughs> All right. You got little Massassi bridges in there. 
that one, and this one, and let's put one of these in here somewhere here. Alright, so we're just going to get these all stacked up like that. And then once we have them all stacked up, um, we kind of want this like, you know, look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these together at the top. And then I'm just going to tear these bottoms because I don't really want them straight, you know. Now that we can't tear, that's vellum. This one we're really not going to be able to tear because it's that cloth paper stuff. But we can tear the other ones. Okay, so once I have them all torn, I'm going to get rid of those scraps. And we are going to bring in our backing. We take the clamps off, put this into our backing, and then put the clamps back on because we need to poke our holes. Now remember, this is an inch and a half, so let's set this for three quarters of an inch. I'm going to use the small side. And right about there. I'm just going to poke two holes one on either side and then I'm going to go ahead and get out uh, ribbon or string or whatever it is I'm going to put on here and I'm going to tie this off so I will be right back and um, we're going to do a little bit more before we get this tied okay All right so I think that's a little too long so I'm just going to put it in here I'm going to take off some of that there we go I'm going to do some rounding on the corners here bottom and I'm going to round these corners as well now if I want to ink this it would be a good idea uh, to do that before I tie it all up because I got to ink this part too. I don't normally ink things so. You would want to do this before you poke the holes. All right, so I'm going to hold this, hold this, and I got a piece of something to tie this up with. Now, there we go. So I'm going to get out my dental floss that I use for, you know, thread that through there pull that through and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I'm just going to tie it now that means I can take this apart and 
I can put more paper in it if I want to later. There's my quick little pad using up some scraps that I had hanging around. So that's it. That's it. It's quick and easy. Quick and easy. Um, you could probably do a whole stack of these and they're great to just toss into your journals. You know, all, look at all that writing space. Uh, if you wanted to take a piece out, you just rip a piece out of there. Um, if you have a perforator, you could come in and perforate all of these if you had one. Um, I do. I just don't know where it is. But you could perforate it and that way you could tear them out. It's entirely up to you. But there it is. Just a cute little pad that you can tuck into a journal in a pocket and have. You can put it in your purse. Whatever you need to do with it. But that's it. That's my little project for today. This is a beginner's project, of course. Um, let's see. So if you're new here, hit the button. Uh, check out the community tab that tells you everything that I have going on. And... Don't forget to check out my Facebook group. You can get a link to that in the description box below. Until I see you again, stay warm, my friends. Bye-bye.